part of my paper that I'm using. But the first part of the process is to get some slurry mixed. I'll show you that slurry. This is my fusion mixer. Slurry. And you take about the bucket and put it in here. See? paper in there and you get a bucket of slurry Keep doing that until you put all this paper in there. Mix it very wet. It's easier to mix that way. And then what I do to get it to the consistency that I want it, I use this, this sh cross cut shredded paper. You put that in there and it'll soak up that water and give me a firmer, you know, drier mix. I don't want it to be soupy wet. Another important thing is to try to keep all your paper dry. I haven't had enough tarps and things, and over time they tend to fall apart. So a lot of the paper that I use is, is damp. That's why I like to go on Saturday mornings and get a fresh supply from my different sources. And I try to use that as much as I can. And I've positioned the other paper where it is covered better and it's drying out. It's been raining a lot here lately. But anyway, you see there's already balls starting to form. Yeah, they just kind of chunk around. That's a nice consistency there. Next thing goes on the wall. Here we go. Get a batch of paper adobe. Oh, baby. There you go. There you go. That's pretty much the consistency I like it. Like I said, it may be a little teeny weeny wetter than normal. But, uh... That basically is it. Now I'll do another mix. I do two mixes at a time. And then I'll put it up on the wall. <laughs> 